My new intro. If there's something I can say I have done as a hobby for almost all my life, it has to be making art. I have drawn ever since I picked up a pencil at the age of three. These were the times where I quit art, took hiatuses that lasted months or even years because I simply thought I wasn't good enough or I felt uninspired. What I'm about to say might be surprising to some considering that I am someone who frequently posts and makes finished pieces weekly, but for years I struggled with inspiration. I was in a constant state of art luck. No ideas flowed in my brain, nothing made ideas come to mind, everything was bleak. When I was in middle school, my art was a bit half-assed because I forced myself to draw. All my drawings were uninspired. But why was this happening? After asking myself this question and reflecting on possible answers to this problem, I finally came to a conclusion to what was causing me to have this problem. And with this video, I want to share my conclusions and formulae to flow inspiration with you all. I'm Cutie, here with a new video. Now a comment that get a lot by people who know me in real life and by some of you, some of you here on the internet is How do you draw so much? And truly, I do draw a lot. Not only is it because I have kinda big accounts now and I feel the pressure to post frequently so the algorithm doesn't absolutely stomp on my reach and then take a huge stomp on it, <laughs> but because I love art. And I think that's a huge understatement. I adore to draw at the moment, and in the past year, drawing has never felt like a chore to me. But yeah, that wasn't always the case. Let's go back to what I originally said about me struggling with ideas and motivation. So let's picture me a few years back. When I was a child, I never really drew much. I occasionally drew, like, um, at the back of my pages, but still I was considered the art kid. At this point, I didn't have any interest in actually learning stuff. Um, I only wanted to draw ponies and draw whatever I wanted. Of course, this changed a bit when I turned like 11, 12, because I discovered a lot of amazing digital artists that were inspiring me, and I wanted to be like a, this really cool artist. But eventually, what comes with actually wanting to take art seriously is getting struck with a lot of perfectionism. I did not like what I was drawing, I was constantly comparing myself and just seeing people uh, in this era be so vile to others. This made me feel very uninspired to keep going. I just simply thought maybe I'm not meant to do this even though it's something I really loved. That plus many other problems in my life, through all of middle school, I barely drew. If I even had luck, I would draw maybe once every four months. And even then, when I finished the drawing, I didn't like it at all. I was very harsh on myself. And because of that, my progress was staggered for a bit because I barely learned anything and I refused sometimes to draw because I didn't feel the motivation because why should I try and of course with this uh, I can conclude myself that one of the reasons why I didn't even like drawing in the first place was because I was being so harsh on myself there's something I had to learn throughout the years which is that um, Comparing yourself to others, in not only in art, but in other things, is never a good thing. Everyone has their own way of progressing, and everyone makes progress in different ways. And learning differently from others is okay. So what I did to change this uh, was try to draw for fun. Something that I always fell on was comparing myself to other artists I looked up to. Like, I looked up to them, but in the wrong ways. I thought to myself, yeah, I want to draw like them, but I forced myself to be like them. And if I wasn't like them, I would get mad, but I would have to comprehend that. They haven't always drawn like that, they have grown and improved over the years, and they have drawn for years probably. So of course, instead I tried looking at these artists' posts, thinking, wow, I really like this, this and this from this piece or from their art style, 
and I will try to learn from that. And of course, I will try to quit the comparing. So in the topic of looking up to other artists, something I do today is I have my own little folder in which I have a lot of art. I recompile, not mine, but from other artists. Um, sometimes I will look at Twitter, Instagram, whatever, and I would like look at fan art or art of other people. And if I really look like something they did in it, I would put it in my inspiration folder. And when I'm drawing, I will have like my tablet. And then besides my tablet, I will have my phone with that folder open and I will like scroll between the images. That gives me inspiration, focus, and it even helps me try to making something new in my art, so that way I'm not staggered. Another thing that helps me flow with ideas is do not limit your creativity. You can get inspired by other art forms. For example, one of my biggest motivators and something that helps me form a full drawing is certain songs. When I'm drawing, I listen to music. Music has often helped me form ideas in my brain for art because when I listen to a song I see a full piece in my mind and sometimes I go with it. I just flow with the song and I draw what I have in my brain and I think I've had great results. Just flow with your ideas. Don't be shy about it. Another point of criticism I want to share is to be open for mistakes. Of course, you already know the saying, uh, you learn more from mistakes than our, our achievements or whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it truly mistakes really do help improve a lot. Don't beat yourself up on mis mistakes. But yeah, re truly one of the things that will really be a big game changer for you as an artist is the way you look at your own art. The way you look at yourself, really. A mindset change is truly a game changer. And I become more positive instead of uh, always being pessimistic. Not only does my art look better, but I even draw more. I'm happier with my art. Because after all, when we are negative, we are only putting um, an obstacle to ourselves. Also try to make other styles, try to get out of your comfort zone because sometimes that also helps flow ideas and motivation because it's very rewarding when you try another style and you really like how it looks or you learn something new. After all, we are very curious creatures and we like love to learn. So when you learn a new style, a new technique, it helps motivate you a lot and, and you feel like you learned something new. You broaden your experience. After all, it's not what's the worst thing that can happen, really. It's just a blank canvas and a new style you're going to try out. So yeah, a lot of good luck in your art journeys. And of course, I hope uh, this video was in any way helpful for anyone that really needed to hear something like that. You can do this, don't. <laughs> and of course, thank you for watching. If anyone has like any other tips that you want me to share about anything art related, then of course I can try to do it. Just tell me in the comments, of course. Uh, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day.